This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Truly we can rejoice and we can be glad in the God that we serve. He's still alive and doing well. And because of that, we know that he's worthy to be praised. And when praises goes up, blessing come down. So we thank God for this Sunday morning. Sunday we celebrate as Father's Day everywhere. Thank God for fathers. If you don't have a father, thank God for your father. If you have a father, thank God for your father. Because you got to realize that if it had not been for the Lord, uh, your father, your mother, you wouldn't be here today. So today we honor fathers everywhere to say to you, happy, happy Father Day on the New Community Baptist Church. My father wrestled with the Lord over 30 years. But I want you to know that Jesus Christ has been my father ever since. And I thank God for him being my father. God has been good to me. Down through the years, he's been good to me. So many times, Jesus made a way for me. So Amen. 
We know you never lost your, or uh, gave your uh, authorship to nobody. Master is still in your hand. We recognize that. We thank you that you didn't give it up. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Now, Father God, we ask you to just have mercy and have your way. Special blessings up on the new community, the Baptist Church family, Lord God. Thank you for keeping us under your blood, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. You've been good to us, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to shower your blessing upon us. Uh, your spiritual blessing, Lord God, like never before, Lord God. Touch hard and regulate mind and have us to know, Lord God, we need to be close to one another. We need to love one another. And you have commanded us to do, dear God. Bless the sick and afflicted and the bereaved family. Don't forget about the, the great family, Pastor Greg, homeborn of his baby son. Give him comfort, Lord God, as you have in the past. Don't forget about the lesser family, the cold family, Lord God, the home of the brother, Lord, uh, Lord God. We ask you to bless it again, bereaved family everywhere, Lord God. Oh, Father God, have mercy to have your way. We know, Lord God, that you're the call and I'm the answer, Lord God. Lord, we just need to be prepared for that great day. We say thank you now, Lord God. Now, Father, we ask you to bless the man that's going to preach to us today. We ask you, Heavenly Father, let you move him out of the way and allow your spirit. Oh, Heavenly Father, to speak to us our heart, Lord God. Uh, hide it behind the rock, Lord God. Let the rock cry out, Lord God. Ah, oh, as never before, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we'll give you the praise. We'll give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. Because, Lord God, you're worthy of all of the praise. Reverence, we just say amen and amen. amen. And thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord is blessing me right now. Lord, I swear the Lord is blessing me right now.
blessed be right now. Right now. We thank God for as we see another day. Yes. Thank God for another fall of the day. Thank God for the new community about the Church family. I ask that you continue to pray for Dr. Sherman and my wife, First Lady Louie. Pray for us that God will just continue to bless us and keep us as only He can. God's been good to us. And we know that if it had not been for Him, we wouldn't be here today. So we here with all of God's grace and God's mercy. For that we hear God thank you. Thank you for keeping us in the land of the night on our way home to the land of the living to see what will follow the day. We thank God today for a young man who joined the body uh, months and months ago. Uh, he, he'd been coming by almost a year, but he found children. We thank God for him. He's going to bring us our Father. Father, they miss it today. We want you to uh, open your hearts and your mind. Sit back and just ask God to give you ears to hear what the preacher have to say. So without further ado, we're going to pray to you. Our own minister. Ward, as he come in his own way. Praise the Lord. Bless you, servant. Bless you, servant Reverend. Thank you for this opportunity and thank you for the things you said. Yeah, it's been about been about a year now, and um, I'm grateful. I'm humble. To be part of a new community has really truly been a blessing to me and to my wife. And we cannot thank you or thank God enough for the things that is done here at New Community. I want to take this time to bring the word of God. You know, I've been, been thinking about Father Day and you know, happy Father Day to all the fathers, you know, as Sergeant Rafer said. And I've been trying to think of a Father Day message we're trying to come up with. I do have some, but the Holy Spirit has been tugging at me all week. And the Holy Spirit says, stick with what I'm giving you. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Amen? I want to thank you once again, um, Sir Rayford and the new community. My wife sent her, sent her love. I want you to let everyone know thank you, and she loves you, and she miss you. <laughs> yes. So just bear with me for one second. Well, we're gonna move right on to right into the word of God. Again, thank you. Let us pray. Most heavenly gracious Father, Lord, we come thanking and praying yes, Lord, yes, Lord. for another day. Once again, it's been said earlier, but thank you for another Father's Day. Yes. Lord, strengthen each and every father that's yes. that's lead you right now. Yes. Even the ones that's doing good and doing what they're supposed yes. to do, Lord, yes. strengthen them even more. Yes. So now, Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and yes. praise. Now, Lord, we ask that you speak to your people yes. and that you give someone something yes. from this word. Touch Boy. them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Now, Lord, move self out of the way and you take full control. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
If you have your Bibles next to you, and I believe you do, if not your Bibles, you have your iPad or your Android phone or whatever device you have that have your Bible app on it, please go with me to Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse 1 through 9. That is Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verses 1 through 9. Mm -hmm. I'll just give you a little moment to get there. I um, just want to let you know I will be coming out of the NLT, the New Living Translation. But whatever translation you have, just follow along with me. Amen. Amen. Again, that is Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verses 1 through 9. And you will find these words. Keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to show hospitality to strangers. Mm -hmm. For some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing it. Mm -hmm. Remember those in prison as if you were there yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember also those being mistreated, as if you felt their pain in your own bodies. Mm -hmm. Give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage. God will surely judge people who are immoral, or those who commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. Mm -hmm. For God has said, I will never fail you, I will never abandon you. Mm -hmm. So we can say with confidence, mm -hmm. the Lord is my helper. Mm -hmm. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Mm -hmm. And it goes on in verse 7. Remember your leaders who taught you the word of God. Mm -hmm. Think of all the good that has come from their lives and follow the example of their faith. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So do not be attracted by strange new ideas. Your strength comes from God's grace and not from rules about food which don't help those who follow them. I want to speak to you Concentrating on verse number eight, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But I want to use for a subject, say goodbye to yesterday. Say goodbye to yesterday. We all are familiar with the popular song that boys and men have done years ago, it's so hard to say goodbye mm -hmm. to yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I like to give credit where credit is due, and I want to give credit to the young man that wrote the song. Mm -hmm. And by him writing the song, I looked at the message that he was trying
trying to say as he was penning the song on paper. Mm -hmm. Listen to the message. Mm -hmm. The words of the song says, how do I say goodbye to what we had? Mm -hmm. The good times that made us laugh outweighs the bad. I thought we'll get to see forever, but forever is gone away. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Mm -hmm. I don't know where this road is going to lead. Mm -hmm. All I know is where we've been and what we've been through. Mm -hmm. And if we get to see tomorrow, mm -hmm. I hope it's worth all the wait. But it's so hard, so hard. to say goodbye to yesterday. To yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite one is, and I will take with me the memories to be my sunshine after the rain is so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Now I do understand and I hope you all got the message in that song but I do understand that we all have some memories of good times. Mm -hmm. Some memories that we hold on to. Mm -hmm. Memories that we keep close to our hearts. Mm -hmm. Memories that has brought us laughter. Mm -hmm. Memories that has brought us joy. Memories of a loved one that has gone on before us, but the memories that we have of them. Memories of storms, situations, problems, uncertainties that we have been through, but God brought us out. Yeah. Come on, somebody hear me. Yeah. These are the type of memories that we keep and hold on to. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about those if I could have, would have, should have memories. Uh -huh. Because we do understand that if you could have, you would have. Well, but since you didn't, let it go. It's the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about those memories of bad, past bad relationships. Uh -huh. You know the one that, that no good, non-working, can't find a job, ex-husband or a boyfriend. Uh -huh. Always saying he's looking in the one ass, uh -huh. but was looking at the ass of things he wanted. Uh -huh. Or that ungrateful, argumentative wife ex-wife or girlfriend who always had their hand out. Well, 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 well. Looking for more when you just gave her money on yesterday. Mm -hmm. The Bible says be satisfied with what you have. Well, well. With what you already had. Or how about those so-called happy friends who is only happy when you foot in the bill, mm. but nowhere to be found when you is in me. Yes, Lord. I'm not talking about the memories of the past, that past terrible job uh -huh. that you had to slave and sweat over until your career or business well, came through. Well, well. But nevertheless, nevertheless, these 
are memories of storms uh -huh. and situations well, well. that we went through. But Almighty God, yeah, yeah. But Almighty God brought us out. Yeah. And these are the memories or past that we can let go. Yeah. And continue to let go. Let go. But I came today to talk about how to say goodbye to yesterday. A yesterday that we're normally used to and now becoming a new normal. A yesterday we're normally used yeah. to getting into traffic, yeah. going to work. Now most of us work from home. We just get up and open our laptops. Mm -hmm. A yesterday we normally used to is going to the stores without wearing a mask and able to be close to other people. Mm -hmm. Now wearing a mask and keeping a distance is mandatory. Mm -hmm. And yesterday that we normally used to is seeing our graduates walk across a stage but on this 2020 graduation has been virtual and some have even been drive through. Schools closed and operating online classes. Restaurants been closed, operating through curbside pickup. Yeah, yeah. Businesses yeah. been closed, operating under a skeleton crew. Mm. And yes, churches mm. been closed, wow, wow. operating through social media, yeah. YouTube, and other virtual avenues. Yeah. Which I look at as a good thing because now we are reaching people that we probably normally, normally wouldn't reach. Yeah. But now that now we are in the process of slowly opening back up, yeah. I come to let you know mm -hmm. that there is going to be some changes taking place. The normal that we used to know uh -huh. will be no more. No more. There is a new normal that's forming. Well. And I just came to let you know to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Most of you have already know that it's coming. Most of you know what's going on. Most of you know, but somebody out there needs your help. Yeah. Because somebody don't know well. exactly what's going on. Well. But I also came to tell you that God is saying mm -hmm. no need to worry well. about a new norm. Uh -huh. God is letting us know I got this. Yeah. I'm still in control. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I got each and every one of y'all back.
realizing you could be marching with angels. Yeah. The Bible also says, remember those in prison yes, Lord. as if you were there yourself. Yeah. And remember those being mistreated as if you felt their pain in your own body. Now watch this, watch this. I want you to miss this. During this COVID pandemic, people have had compassion over the men and women in prison. People they don't even know, but they have had compassion over their lives while they mm. incarcerated. Yes. In close proximity mm. of others and possibly catching the virus yes. on the strength yes, that people are coming together mm. for those being mistreated. Yes, yes, people have came together more, more. now than I've ever seen. People have came together and have compassion for other people that they don't even know and don't need to know because it's the love of God that's in them that's making them come out. Since this stay at home, this stay at home order that we've been into, since then, I've heard that the domestic violence has been on a rise. So I ask myself, why? Mm. Why domestic violence has been on a rise? Mm. Is it because you really don't want to stay home with your spouse? Mm. Is your spouse that bad and you don't want to stay under the same roof, in the same room with them? Mm. But once again, the Bible says, Give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another. Because God will surely judge you who are immoral and those who commit adultery. Yeah. We go on, the Bible goes on to say that don't love money, be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, mm -hmm. I never failed. I will never leave you. Mm -hmm. I will never abandon you. Mm -hmm. I will never forsake you. Mm -hmm. I will be with you till the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. I got this. God is saying, Yeah. 
need to follow. And the Bible is telling us that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same yesterday.
my family. Bless Lord. And when I say Lord, my family, Bless Lord. not just immediate family, but my nieces, my nephews, my uncles, my aunt, my church family. Lord, I thank you for them. I thank you for my mother. I thank you for my father that's going on. But Lord, I thank you for my wife. My real that you bless me with. And I have no problems and no regrets. Because Lord, I sit and I listen to you. In Jesus' mighty, glorious, and wonderful name, yes, we thank you, thank you. and we pray, yes. amen. When you hear my home going, don't worry about me. Oh, my God. 